We're going to talk about Jamestown, and the need-to-know date for Jamestown is 1607. England was exploring quite a lot, and they were wanting to colonize as well, because to pay the bills for exploring, they needed a colony to make them money. And they wanted a permanent colony in this new world, what is to become North America. They wanted it for two reasons. To extend their empire, because that would gain them um, uh, respect and recognition on the, on the world stage as a powerful nation. Because the, the more colonies you had, the, the more powerful they thought you were. Um, and people would leave you alone. And they also wanted to gain resources to help their economy. There was a man named Sir Walter Raleigh who received a charter to begin a new colony in the New World for England. He set it up in Virginia, and the name of the colony was Roanoke. It was a place um, set up that was geographically similar to England. They um, set up in a marshy wetland beside a river, which was, was perfect for England. But in the New World, that equaled disease and poor soil. They weren't used to the, the bugs that would carried viruses, and so they got very sick, and they couldn't grow anything there. Needless to say, the colony did not survive because of a poor location, poor leadership, and poor resources. You see, Sir Walter Raleigh was just a famous name, a rich guy that, that people liked, and his leadership skills were lacking. And then they didn't have any resources. Uh, they, they, they didn't plant when they got there. They weren't prepared. Um, they were only looking to uh, make money to find gold and riches and mineral wealth um, in the New World. And when the next group arrived at Roanoke, all they found was a skeleton and an empty fort. The word Croatoan was carved into a tree nearby and, and that's it. Nobody knows what happened to this Roanoke colony. It simply vanished. Uh, it's still one of the great mysteries today, and it's known as the Lost Colony. Their first attempt was a disaster, and their second attempt is better. In 1585, they tried Roanoke, and in 1607, they tried Jamestown. It was, this, uh, it was the first permanent English settlement in North America. And, and as you can imagine, you know, through um, all the hardships that they would face, Jamestown actually survives. And in 1607, they establish it as the, their first permanent English settlement. Um, even still, they were unprepared for the hardships they would face. Like Roanoke, they were, the settlers were seeking gold and mineral riches and, and not working to survive. 500 or more settlers made the initial journey. However, by the time the second wave of settlers joined them, only 60 remained. And one of those settlers was named John Rolfe. Now, John Rolfe, by default, became their leader, but he had little leadership experience. He was just kind of the, the only guy at the right time instead of the right guy at the right time. He was... He was it. He was all they had to turn to. And what he did was, was he friended the Powhatan Native American tribe living nearby. And he, he became friends with the chief and he ended up marrying his daughter. That daughter's name was Pocahontas. She is an actual real person, uh, not just a Disney movie. Um, and so by friending the Powhatan nation and marrying Pocahontas... With, with, with Pocahontas now and the help of her tribe, they had knowledge of planting and growing and harvesting crops that Jamestown and the settlers of Jamestown desperately needed. And John Rolfe actually had some tobacco seeds that he had received. Um, this was kind of an under the, uh, under the table kind of um, thing. Uh, he wasn't supposed to have these seeds, but he had them anyway, and he started growing tobacco. And the first crop here made huge profits of tobacco. Tobacco becomes the first cash crop, and Jamestown survives with the money from tobacco and the knowledge of the Powhatan tribe with Pocahontas 
and John Rolfe leading the way, Jamestown is a profitable venture for England uh, because it's producing large quantities of tobacco and England is addicted to tobacco. And it can only produce this amount of tobacco with the help of African slaves. 